boy NWP, and today we're going to take a look at the normal Mithrax encounter as I haven't yet cleared it in Heroic. I'm not uh, grinding per se, but before we get started with today's actual video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Now, it's second raid week, and... Uh, you know, most people should have at least cleared normal mode by now and, you know, probably are moving into heroic, hopefully, hopefully, you know, if that's where you're at. But uh, <coughs> it would seem to be that the encounter uh, difficulties jump in uh, steps rather than, you know, um, a kind of like an, a tapered, you know, wave up where it slowly gets better. It's more like all of a sudden there's a, j a step to jump up and it's quite a high step in a sense in some of the boss fights. This is not one of them, and it's not in an order, uh, oddly enough, like as crazy as that sounds. The fights pretty much are going to be randomly harder or, or easier for your group, just really depending on fight to fight. But these fights are really not the hardest encounters to ever have been put into the game, and rightfully so. It's the first raid of the expansion. However, we have a general Vizax looking guy here, and uh, some like while he doesn't do the, any abilities that are the same, he does a lot of um, visually similar stuff. Uh, the little green orbs around, and you know that kind of thing. But basically, this fight in normal mode has three mechanics that you got to take care of um, specifically, and the biggest one is the ruinous or impending ruin i believe it's called but basically two people are going to get a debuff they need to be as far away from each other as possible so that's uh what these x and uh square markers are actually doubling for in the raid as one group is here um and you know one ruin is going there the other ruins going there obviously now we also this is where the ads are going to be dps down and stuff like that um and we found that splitting dps while it takes a little bit longer is a lot easier on the healers so because we have all of our DPS, you know, on one side, not grouped up in one side, we actually have the ads, you know, kind of separated, doing damage to different targets all over the place. Makes it a lot more manageable in reality. Um, the other big thing to watch out for in this encounter is that right there, that laser. Um, <coughs> he does that laser during the fight, uh, during phase one and during phase two, but during phase one, it's just a quick blast. And uh, I can believe it gives you a full 10 stacks in normal mode of your debuff, which reduces your health. Um, so, yeah, that's what the green orbs are for. You run around and pick those up so that you're under 10 stacks of uh, you know, the, the health-reducing debuff. It reduces your actual maximum health so that you, you know, cannot be, you know, say, 130K or whatever. So, really, you just got to kind of pay attention to those things and that's it now there's going to be people getting mc'd you just kind of like do quick damage to them just a quick ability pop 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 knock them out of the mc which doesn't really it, it's not like an mc in, in other fights it's more just taking them out of the fight so with them removed from the encounter you know you're losing dps you're losing a healer so you get them out as fast as you can regain what you've been missing that being said um this fight is really really easy um I honestly, in my opinion, Vectus was harder than this to get a group together for. As I'm not a, I'm not in a guild raiding with a guild. I raid, uh, you know, in pugs solo out as much as I can. And to me, this fight was really pretty interesting because it's so similar to a general Vizax kind of look and feel. That to me, I was like, this, this is definitely a cool fight. You know, I loved Alduar. I don't really feel like I'm in Alduar here in Aldir, but. You know, guys, whatever, I guess. And, uh, yeah. So here is basically the video of, of some random group in normal mode um, doing Mithrax, which is honestly, he's really easy. He's not, he shouldn't be wiping your group. Just pay attention to your ruins. And one ruin go one way, one go the other way. That's it. That's literally this entire fight. But <coughs> let's go ahead and let's talk about a different topic now that we've made it this far. We got a few minutes to kill, and I want to talk about how they nerfed Fetid Devourer and the ads on Fetid Devourer in Mythic to appease the how many guilds? 20 guilds that are actually on the fight at most? Probably more like 10 or less. But 
you shouldn't even have the gear to fight Mythic, in my opinion, right now. You should not. You should take. It should take at least a couple of weeks of farming to have appropriate gear to kill the entire raid in Mythic. You should not just be able to find cheese mechanics and other workarounds to get through the raid encounters as fast as possible. It doesn't do anything for us. It doesn't do anything for the community. All it does is put pay in Sko's pocketbook. And you know what? Fuck you. I don't care about Sko. I don't care about Dejari's pocketbook. I really don't care about Method's pocketbook. And when a video game is bowing down <coughs> to a single organization of gamers who is not even a real organization of gamers, let's be serious, Sko gets rid of and acquires whoever he wants, and that's, that's that. Um, we have a problem. And the problem is we're not playing World of Warcraft anymore. We're playing World of Methodcraft because they have as much input as a game developer. Now, was the health way too high to mathematically be impossible? I don't know that Method should be able to even know. They should have been working on the raid encounters rather than doing math problems. So there you go. Uh, that just leads to there was somebody either not doing what they were supposed to be doing or, you know, basically you needed gear. You just need gear, you know. Like you needed to go do the raid in normal and heroic. A week of normal and heroic is not enough to go in and clear Mythic. And if it is, then that should not be Mythic. That should actually be the heroic encounters. Um, but that's just me. And uh, the game has gone backwards in a sense in, in that on day one, it was way harder. I mean, day one, vanilla. This was way harder of a game than it is now. Nowadays, top 20 guilds are actually like the top 500 guilds from previous years. And it's not a joke that guilds like Method never really stepped into the limelight until every other guild was gone. Until every other guild had retired their 10-year laminate. So, yeah, hate me if you hate me for saying that stuff, but, you know, that can kiss my ass. The game should not bow down to one guild or five guilds. It should not even bow down to the entire player base. It is their game that they created. They should keep it going the way that they see it fit. But that's all I got now, guys. You enjoy the rest of the video. and. <laughs>